Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCAP Marketplace and in today's uh, tutorial we'll be uh, going ahead and we'll be learning how a customer can uh, place an order for the various uh, marketplace sellers and after that we'll be showing you how uh, the sellers can complete their orders under their own account panel. Pan. After that we'll be going ahead and we'll be uh, uh, looking at the admins and uh, that how the admin will be able to make a PR to the marketplace sellers uh, for their uh, products that have been purchased and we'll be showing you the transition tab uh, under the admin section. So let's get ahead and let's see how the order is being placed uh, in the first place by the customer. So for that we'll be going ahead and we'll be logging in to the open club marketplace uh, at the uh, customer's end. Now I'm on the uh, storefront right now, so I'll be going ahead and I'll be logging in as a customer in the first place uh, to place some orders for the for the multiple uh, sellers of the mar marketplace. So after logging in, I'll be searching up for the uh, products that uh, are I'll be doing to my category, and I'll be getting two different products of uh, two different sellers. So I'll edit the first product. And it is my second product. Uh, so here you can see uh, that the first uh, first product uh, is of uh, one seller and the other one is of uh, the other seller. So I'll be going ahead and I'll be making the checkout for the same. Uh, I'll be selecting my billing details whether I want to uh, uh, provide the billing details uh, of a uh, of an existing address or uh, would I like to have another address to be added here so I'll just uh, click to continue to that and uh, under the delivery fields uh, I'll be updating my address if I wish to use an existing address or I want to use a new address and uh, can click continue with that and here I'll be stating the part shipping rate and uh, I'll check the terms and conditions and click continue button now here you can see that I had added uh, the DSLR camera and the uh, summer green oval t-shirt and uh, right now you can see that uh, i have the confirm order button as well now clicking the confirm order button will uh, confirm the order and i can click on the history button so as to check uh, my order details Here you can see that the, that the status is still pending and the order total is uh, 22,005 rupees uh, out of which the buyers will be uh, flat rate shipping so uh, you can click here on the win button so as to check your order details and uh, you can also uh, reorder or you can track the order or return as required. So that was about how uh, a customer can place the order uh, for the marketplace sellers products uh, and now let's go ahead and let's log out from the uh, customers panel. Now uh, I'll be going ahead and I'll be logging in as a seller and I'll be completing uh, the order uh, for the customer now uh, both the sellers need to complete their orders uh, under their own account panels and uh, after they complete their orders under their own account panels uh, uh, the payout would be visible under the income uh, uh, section uh, in the admins back so let's get ahead and let's uh, log in as uh, the uh, seller So I'll log in as a seller and I'll go to my order history section. Here you can see uh, I had already placed an order and that's complete and uh, the new one uh, is showing pen and it's for the DSLR camera. So I'll just win this order. Now here I can add a tracking number as well if I have. If I don't have, uh, that's not a problem and I'll just uh, change the order status to complete and hit the submit button. So I've completed the first order, now I'll be logging out from this section. Now I'll log in as the other seller. I'll go to my order history and this order history is visible under this uh, this uh, marketplace uh, block so I'll click on the order history and 
and uh, you can see I have a Samuel King Gold T-shirt is there for two thousand bucks, and the status is pending, so I'll read the order. Now I'll uh, navigate uh, much a bit behind downside, and uh, here I can uh, do the same. I can do the tracking number, and I'll make this order as uh, complete. So both of the sellers have uh, completed their orders under the own account panel and uh, uh, we we'll just go ahead and we we'll just log out from the current seller's uh, account panel. Uh, now let me take you back uh, to the admin backend panel where we uh, will be uh, checking the transaction uh, section, the income section and commission part for the sellers, what commission was applied to the sellers and how it's distributed. Uh, I've uh, logged in as the admin to open card marketplace with store or backend and right now I'll be navigating to marketplace and then the market marketplace I'll be going to the income section. Now under the income section the admin will be able to see all the payouts that are uh, still pending and that are to be made to the sellers. So uh, this is the first seller and this one is the second seller. So uh, actually uh, as I've uh, already placed uh, the same orders for the same sellers, so that's why it's uh, showing right now 4000 as the uh, total amount. And for the other one, that's the Lawrence Hendon, it's showing 40000 because 20000 was the cost of that camera. And uh, for that green t shirt, it was 2000 So, uh, as uh, let me go ahead and let me show you uh, what actual uh, commission was uh, being applied on these uh, sellers. So I'll just go to the seller section and the marketplace. And here uh, for the Lawrence Hendon, I'll click the edit button. And I'll go to the payment and commission tab. Here you can see that uh, the commission applied was 5%. Similarly, I'll show you the uh, commission for the other seller as well. The admin. So I'll just click on the edit button for the other seller and uh, I'll go to the payment and commission tab. And here I've set the 5% commission for the seller as well. So let's get back to the income section uh, for the marketplace uh, app. So uh, here we can see uh, that uh, as the unit price of the product was 2000 and uh, I've, I've placed uh, actually uh, two orders uh, uh, for the sellers. So that's why it's uh, showing uh, 4000 here. And uh, as the commission applied was 5% for, for the particular sellers, for both of the sellers, so the admin amount uh, comes to 200, that's 100 plus 100. And for the other seller who, who, whose uh, unit price for the product was 20,000 uh, and the commission applicable was uh, 5%, the admin amount has uh, uh, comes to uh, 1,000, and that's for two products, so it's 2,000. So uh, that's how the uh, how the uh, breakdown is done after the commission has been applied and uh, on the action tab you can see uh, the P button the actual amount that needs to be uh, paid out to the seller so uh, you can click on the pay button to pay for this particular seller you can enter the comment as well and uh, you can click the save button to save the uh, payout and actually uh, uh, this uh, uh, after we have saved this uh, payout, uh, actually it's just to maintain a record, and the admin can uh, make the payout to the sellers out of the uh, system manually. And if you wish to make a payout to the sellers instantly, uh, you can also make use of the mass PayPal, uh, mass payout by PayPal option that we have provided on the top here. So what you need to do is you just need to select the sellers for whom you uh, need to make the uh, payout to and uh, you just need to click the mass pay by PayPal button but make sure that both of the sellers have a link their uh, PayPal uh, usernames in the account so clicking the pay, uh, mass pay by PayPal uh, will take you ahead and uh, will allow you to make the payment. You can also uh, directly go into uh, the service payout and uh, you can directly click the save button to make the, uh, to make the uh, what we say as the payout. Uh, you can also uh, uh, 
uh, for the other seller, I'll be doing the same thing. I can go to the uh, beyond of the second seller and I can click the save button to save the transaction, or else uh, I can see the other seller here and uh, any other sellers as well. And I can keep the mass pay by PayPal to make it instant uh, payout to the sellers within their PayPal accounts. So, uh, uh, that was all about uh, how the uh, customer can make uh, or how the customer can place an order at the Pimpath Marketplace store front end. And after that, I've shown, shown you how the sellers will be able to complete their order under their own seller uh, account panel. After that, I've shown you how the admin will be able to make a payout to the sellers. I've also shown you the commission that was applicable uh, on the respective sellers. And I'll show you the division of the uh, amount there. And I've shown how uh, you can click the pay uh, button to make a payout with sellers manually so as to maintain a record at your end. Uh, you can also uh, select the sellers for whom you want to make a mass uh, payment and then click the mass pay out by mass pay by pay, pay down button on the very top right hand end uh, to make an instant uh, payout with sellers. Uh, into their PayPal accounts. So, uh, thanks for watching the video and uh, hope it helped you out. Uh, if you have any queries or uh, suggestions regarding this extension, you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you, uh, you may also uh, raise a ticket at uh, webcool.ubs.com. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.